Hey guys, it's John and welcome back to Man of Medan. If you haven't seen the previous episode, I'll link it in the description. This is part two. We're gonna be checking out what happens after we bump into the boat with another boat. <laughs> Great intro, John. You've been doing this for eight and a half years and you still fail at them. <sighs> awesome. Well, whatever. That's as good as you're gonna get. I don't know why I'm sassing you guys. Sorry. Didn't sleep very well last night. And I'm dehydrated. La porte! La porte! Vite! La porte! The door? What door? Are you guys boarding? Quick, let's board the abandoned ship. Junior. What's going on? These guys are all gung-ho about going on the ship. Was this the plan all along? Did they mean to do this? What does the distributor cap do? Is that important? I guess that means that they're gonna have to get off that boat, maybe? And go on the ship? Wow, okay. <laughs> Hello, Fliss. Wait. Jesus. <laughs> you guys were so gung ho about getting on this ship. And then you say, where are we? <laughs> Thought you knew what you were doing. Whoa. It's like a time capsule. Oh, okay, speed demon. Look at Julia. She's racing me. Oh, you think I'm gonna lose? Well, you're right. Damn, she's a speed walker. Okay, I think I'm beating her now. Where are we going? To the right? Oh, she had to stop. This place is a floating death trap. I don't know why I'm getting so competitive with Julia. I need to cool it. She just looked like she was trying to beat me, that's all. <gasps> what? <laughs> you lost your bracelet? Did I miss something where she said the bracelet meant a lot to her or something? Ooh. Y'all okay? Wow, okay. <laughs> We're getting to see a lot of fliss today. Uh, keep an eye out for pictures on the wall. I may have already missed one. The Mask of Madness. I do you did not dare sign to up look for a trip to creep down? Do you dare to look death in the eye? Now showing in the mess hall. Very cool. But like what's in here though? Maybe I shouldn't go off the beaten path, actually. There's a cross. I'd rather be anywhere but here. And I'm really... What are these guys gonna do with us now? I don't know, do they even know where you are? Oh, okay, they do. <laughs> I thought maybe we had escaped them. Slipped out under their noses. Oh, what's this? Miller. Cool. Yeah, it's clothes. I guess we're done looking at it. All right, Fliss, let's get your intrepid ass back on track. This way. Oh, what are you looking for? I like how we're all just buddies now. Nobody's at knife point or gun point anymore. We're all just hanging out. Oh shit! That's a rat. Alex. 
You know, the further we go in this game, the more I'm like, Alex isn't very bright. Internal memorandum. 14th Division Army to Private O'Neill. You're covering Patterson's guard duties tomorrow. Uh, he is sick again. Conveniently, it's always when he has guard duties and hold 3A. Now, if you remember, earlier when we did the flashback sequence, back to when the people were on the ship with Joe and Charlie, hold 3A is where they found someone where they were not supposed to be and threw them in the brig. And I think it's also where we died as Joe. First is 2400. Check the chart for rotation. William P. Ford. <laughs> I know it's pronounced Ford. I just... I think I'm funny. And I'm not. William P. Ford. Let's keep going. What are we all standing around for, huh? Awesome! You're in both to see! Okay. All of you. Into the room. There's a door here? Yeah, there's doors everywhere. Okay, they're locking us in. Hey! It's pitch black in here! Is it just till the storm Give passes? Us the light. Oh. Thanks. I don't think these guys are like evil. I mean, yeah, they beat the shit out of, what's his name? I already forget, the Connie. But uh, other than that, you know, other than that and pointing guns and knives at us, they're not so bad. What the hell is this fucking place? Manchurian gold. We can be foreboding or assertive. Take some action, Alex. Boating. It has to have something to do with the Manchurian gold. We're not far from those coordinates. Anyone else creep the fuck out by this ship? Maybe this is the ship that was carrying the gold. Guess it's a possibility. We can't just sit around. <laughs> we need a plan. Let's get back to our boat, get the hell away from here, and never step foot off dry land again. How's that for a plan? Great, but how are we going to do that, Julia? I saw one of the goons take something out of the boat. Distributor cap makes the engine work. Mm. The Duke of Milan is a floating brick without it. Mm -hmm. We need to get it back. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Relationship updated. How? What? Wait. How did <laughs> how did my relationship with Alex go way down? <laughs> with Conrad, I went way up. I guess because we. Did the dirty. Fliss, I just wanted to say that, um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. You think? Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us. Yes. So, yeah. What Allow me to translate. Idiot. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Mm. Well, no. your apology is kinda accepted. You're cancelled, Alex. Cool. Cool? Your apology means nothing. Oh, 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 cool, cool. Oh, hey. Let's look at a premonition, right? Oh, no. Not a premonition. Scratches? Only in one specific part of the portrait, huh? What do you think this ship was? Oh, make yourself at home, Julia. What is this? Let's read some more cryptic documents. Uh, this is from Miss J. Rivera. Okay. Hi, baby doll. I miss you like crazy. Three months until my next leave. I'm really scared. Shut up, Julia. And jumping into your arms. Three months. I've been on some shore leave with the guys, had a few beers. Oh wait, this isn't from Miss J. Rivera. It's to Miss J. Rivera. Hi, baby doll. I miss you like crazy. Three months until my next leave and jumping into your arms. Three months. I've been on some shore leave with the guys, had a few beers. But don't worry, I'm keeping everything ready for you. Catch my drift. How's work? Hope that boss of yours is leaving you alone. I know you can take care of yourself, but 
feel helpless being so far away and I want to keep you safe. Great. Someone's got a bleeding heart. <laughs> you showed compassion for another human being? Ugh. What a weak person. All right, let's see. This uh, is very strange. They're called glasses, Fliss. Those are what glasses used I to really look like. I really don't want to know what these guys are going to do with us. All right, Brad. Well, you're not being very helpful. But someone around here has got to get moving on this stuff. And I guess it's me because everyone else is just sitting around. Can I look at this? Oh, it went away. The prompt. There it is. Gimme. I wonder the why they all left it behind. Waterlogged newspaper. Uh, let's see. Gangland. <laughs> let's see. Oh, it was worst gangland killing of 1947. Archaeologists missing in Iraq. 25 British archaeologists have gone missing in the Zagros Mountains of Iraq. The Hodgson expedition arrived in the kingdom of September last year with the stated goal of unearthing the. That's uh, that's my 1940s newsies voice. Unearthing the Manchurian gold, perhaps. We'll talk to Alex in a second. What's this? Oh, bro. I found a way out. Actually, you know what? Before we go, let's talk to Alex, because I have a feeling it's going to progress the scene. Hi. Hey. I found this letter that was never sent. Okay. They said there were rumors about figures roaming around the cargo. Figures? You want to be more specific? Why do I even bother? Dismissive. Cabin fever. Troubled. Doesn't feel right. We'll be troubled. Look, I'm not really sure what he meant. All I know is that I just get this really creepy feeling like something terrible happened here. Something is wrong. I don't like it. I don't like a single thing about this place. Not at all. Okay. I found this note. It was back in the bunk room. <laughs> so it says that this guy... Patterson? Kept playing sick, getting out of guard duty when he was supposed to be in the hold. Hmm. I guess he did it like a bunch of times. Anyways, it, it doesn't seem like anyone liked it too much down there. So what I'm gathering is the crew... Man, they were pretty creeped out by whatever the hell they were carrying on this ship. I just wish I knew what the fishermen were planning. <laughs> he just doesn't, he doesn't care. I overheard them talking about Manchurian gold. Back on the juke, I overheard them talking about the Manchurian gold. I didn't even see the other option. I really don't think they had any of this planned until the gold caught their attention. We need to watch them closely. This could go from bad to worse if they don't find what they're looking for. So, what do we do? I don't know, but I'm done talking to you. Reassuring, maybe it still has a radio that works. Lively, we need to find a way out of this room. Look, we need to either find a way out of this room, or we need to be ready to make a move when those fishermen come back. Okay, well we're not gonna do anything from in here. We need to keep looking around and try to find a way out. Just be careful. Alright, that was unproductive. I liked how I was talking about the note and stuff, and he's just like, I just wish I knew what the fishermen were planning. That had nothing to do with anything that I was saying. Can I talk to Julia or Brad at all? I'd love to see the official paperwork that says this hunk of junk is not gonna fall apart in any second. Oh, let me see the data. Okay. Let me look over here while everyone's just standing around. Fliss is a mover and a shaker, and the rest of these guys are lazy bozos. <sighs> oh, found a vent. Damn. Let's open it up. Hey. Oh, look. We don't have the knife. Look at this. From the dive. It broke in the door. Are they going to be able to get this open? Alex, are you going to. On. Fuck. If we, if we only had the knife, Give we'd me. be able to pry it open, I bet. I'm going to see if I can get it off. Oh, shut up. You're not going to be able to do anything. I'm going to explore the engine room. You search the holds. Okay. 
Uh oh. So stripped. Not gonna work that way. Shut up, Alex. Yes, they are looking for gold. Okay. I thought maybe they might have an ulterior motive. Je sais pas, cet, cet endroit est bizarre. Olson, on devait seulement les voler. Et là, mm. on se retrouve coincé sur ce ratio de merde qui pue la mort. Et on a des prisonniers. Ah, Junior, he's the weak link. He has a conscience. Yeah. Danny and Olsen seem to be at odds. So maybe that's a weakness we can take advantage of. Gotta retain this info for future dialogue. All right, let me at it. Let me get it. What do you it. think? I can't get it open. Over here. Are you even trying? Let's see, if she had the Freedom knife, she'd be able open. to open it. Freedom. <sighs> Worried. Could be blocked. Confident this is the way out. Yeah. This is the way out. Confident. You want me to just smash through this wall? Oh, yeah, sure. She Big breathed. man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is going to be loud. Sure, I agree. Fliss, want to do the honors? Me? Barricade or distract? Barricade. Okay. What? What's going on here? Hey, hey. Can I get some help? Brad! Wake up! Yo, Brad, give the lady a hand. Earth to Brad! Push it all the way! Wait, is it a pull or a push? I think it might be a pull. Okay, it's a push. It's a push. What's going on? Brad, leave. Now, it's not gonna take long for them to figure out where we went. <laughs> but oh well. We're all together for now. Gotta wonder where Conrad is, though. Are we safe now? Or we're separated, at least. Stay quiet. We need to keep going. Come on. There's gotta be some stairs around here. Are we Alex now? We are. Let's look at our traits. Insecure. <laughs> That's all I see. But wait. What about in here? Oh, see? You don't want to just rush off. You miss things. FAQ, all ship personnel. Extra guard duty regulations. Due to the special security precautions on this mission, additional procedures must be adopted by soldiers on guard duty. Double guard duty on all doors and on all watches. No talking. No playing of games. No smoking. No alcohol. No gambling. No fun. At all. Guard personnel found breaking any of these regulations will be met with the sternest of punishments up to an according court martial. Wow. By the way, Captain Ford. Guys, nobody is allowed into 3A. Seriously, nobody. Okay. So, I think I'm piecing together certain things. I'm wondering if there are even any ghosts on this ship or if it's just all hallucinations. It appeared to be a lot of hallucinations in the prologue. I think we're gonna end up killing each other, I think. I mean, I'm, ugh, I'm getting real separated as Alex. How do I get through here? Okay. Like, the plane that was shot down? Jeez. Maybe this is what scared everyone off. What? Dirty clothes? The plane that was in the ocean, this ship shot it down, right? Anti-aircraft, uh, the anti-aircraft shell. Plus, we, you know, we saw that it was air rescue, and I think we even heard the gunfire 
shooting down the plane in the plane. <laughs> Man, super massive. Oh, I saw that shadow and I thought it was something. They love putting rats in here. Is there anything? I'm looking. No, doesn't appear to be anything in the washer. What I come in here for? There's nothing here. I don't think. I guess it's just a you know, extra room to explore. Hopefully I didn't get too separated from everybody. Where is everybody? Huh. Oh, Julia waited for me. It's so weird that they all just vanished. It's like Did they? they? just snapped up right in the middle of whatever they were doing. Okay, bye, so Julia. Possible, right? right. Out of bounds. Cargo hold two. And cargo hold three. Just the cargo hold in general. Engine rooms, cargo hold four. Well, great. <laughs> okay, so cargo hold three is towards the... Hmm. What was that? Okay, I'm gonna go. Hey, Julia, how hot would it be if we did it on the ghost ship? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Unless... <laughs> I wouldn't actually do that. <laughs> it's all a joke. Unless you'd want to do it. What's going on in here, by the way? Oh, am I opening these? I guess not. Okay, I'll go back out. Right. You think Conrad's made it? He can be pretty resourceful when he puts his mind to it. That's not really an answer. I mean, well, then, I don't have an answer. Sure, I think Conrad's made it. Oh, great. Well, what did you expect? <laughs> you seem disappointed by my answer. Did you want me to say no? Did you hear that? Yep. Something moving around down there. What? Like what? I'm not sure I want to find out. Well, we we're gonna. Going. No, no, I, I cannot take any more of this. Julia. No, 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 no I can't. I, I can't do it. Julia, you gotta calm no. down. Let's go. Come on. All right. Oh, hi, Fliss. You kind of spooked me for a second. Uh... Aha! Let's read some more. That flashlight is blinding. It doesn't say anything on it. Can I open it? It's a diary. June 19th. I identified problem areas with structural brittleness and cracks in some sections of cargo hold one. I instructed our shipwright to carry out the necessary welding repairs. I advised the captain to go easy, especially in bad weather. Any aggressive movement could cause the ship to break its back. June 20th, I responded to a complaint that some electronic equipment had been malfunctioning recently. I discovered growths of tin whiskers around some of the components. What? I cleaned and added lead to the solders, which has stopped the equipment shorting out and should slow the growth. Growths of tin whiskers, you say? I conducted a electrical thorough- Electrical storm? Jesus. I've got enough problems without an electrical storm. June 21st, I conducted a thorough weekly engine room inspection of fuel, oil, and fluid, which showed lower levels of cylinder oil than expected. I have reminded staff in the engine room to be attentive and vigilant with their hourly checks and to alert an engineer if there is any loss of pressure. June 22nd, the ship was caught in a heavy electrical storm which began shortly after midnight. The lightning strikes caused a lot of electrical arcing traveling through hoisting cables aloft deck, which has left damage. That's a hell of a sentence. The grease has boiled up and destroyed some of the cabling. I received reports that the main problems caused by the storms are with electrical equipment at the moment. It's likely the tin whiskers haven't helped matters. The tin whiskers are a big problem, guys. Despite the rough sea, there have been no reports of any structural damage. However, I'll have to work through the night to make a full damage assessment. Wow, is this Brad's grandfather? Freaking nerd. All that nerd talk, bro, in your diary? 
I just want to know what girl you like, alright? That's all I want to read in your diary. Is there a picture in here? Premonition? I haven't seen any of the premonitions I wonder where take everyone place. went. Maybe everyone's hiding in the hold for a big surprise party. Ha ha ha. Notice how no one laughed at that, Alex? Because you're not funny. What's this? It's a tiny rat skull. Neato. But where's the rest of them? You okay, buddy? Oh, come on. Some behind the scenes troubleshooting. <laughs> Moving my microphone is not troubleshooting. I just like being dramatic. Technical difficulties. <laughs> ooh, ooh, pick it up. Could, do you mind, like, moving the flashlight so it's not blinding my eyes? Is this the same one? It's the same handwriting. Thursday, 12. The skipper has KO'd the booze for this whole goddamn trip. There's nothing like being sober to make you realize just how quiet this ship is. There's a fight between those dumb schmucks Wilson and Anderson, Joe and Charlie, right after we sailed. But Ferris nipped that in the bud real quick and it's been quiet as a church ever since. I got talking with a feller who had helped load up the ship. He told me that they put a bunch of coffins on board, which isn't so weird maybe, but he said, sorry, B he said there was some guy who made sure the coffins were all put in one of the holds just right. The guy who was put in the brig. Mmm, real precise. Not the treatment you'd get if you were any old grunt. Got me thinking, who could it be in those boxes? Friday 13, booze was a bum loss. Perez said he felt drunk after four cups, but I said he was talking baloney. <laughs> it was like ditch water. Perez said that they made some hooch from some supplies they lifted, meeting up later down on six to check it out. Saturday 14, I just heard one of the guys here snuck a look at those boxes. Gonna go find him and see what he saw. Maybe he can even help me get in to take a look. It's all set. He reckons he can sneak me in. We're gonna take a look tonight. What'd you find? Sunday 15. It's all off. The guy who was gonna help me get in the hold has been signed off sick. Doc Finley thinks he's some kind of flake, which might be true, but Miller says it's something else. Something weird about that place. Miller's kind of a twitcher. He's a, he's a big streamer. <laughs> Wouldn't want to be caught in a pinch with him, that's for sure. Tuesday 17. Perez said that the boys made more hooch. Too bummed out to sneak and try some, but what else is there to do? News. New batch is worse than the last one. Never listening to any damn fool idea from Prez ever again. Saturday 21. Last night I was on duty with Wallowitz, and goddamn if he didn't creep me out. He got spooked and started babbling about some sergeant called Jones that went MIA in the jungle. Reckoned that Jones and his crew were the ones in the boxes, traveling home just like us saps. I sneaked to look and Jesus, there it was. Just like the guy in the port had said, all laid out real nice, old glory over each one. If it's Jones in there, they've done him proud. Good old Uncle Sam wouldn't leave any of us out there. He'd make sure we all come home. That's it. He didn't get to write home. Julia, make yourself useful. All right. I like how everyone takes turns being useful. Can you open up the... Ooh. Oh, that looks bad. Is that me? I, w I will say the control in the game is acceptable, but there are times like when you're up against a wall that it kind of, it's hard to move around a little bit. With a controller at least. Oh, bye Fliss. I do like playing third-person perspective games with a controller, though. It helps with my head, like, orient everything directionally. Well, I'm doing it with a mouse, it feels different. Oh. Why do I feel like Fliss is going to be the only one that lives? Yeah. There's someone down there already. Right. Shh. Everyone quiet. 
Everyone saw it, Brad. It's Olsen. He's looking for that Manchurian gold. There's the distributor cap. Oh, you thought you was safe. Wait, is he playing out his bait? Look, it's the distributor cap from the Duke. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Our son. Is that a sledgehammer? You got a sledgehammer with you? Why wouldn't you just keep the distributor cap on your person? If it's I'm so important. It. Why wouldn't you just chuck it into the corner? All right, grab it then. We need to be careful. All right, grab it then. All right, well, grab it then, hurry. Well, I don't need you barking orders, big guy. Okay, keep an eye out. Oh, my relationship went down with Fliss. Well, whatever. Shh. I would have maybe waited like another minute before going down. Yo, Brad, come on, we gotta fix this through, man. Brad, we don't oh need you God, playing hero. You wait. Brad. So I'm trying to impress everybody. Holy crap. Are they coming back? Maybe this is why you should have waited. One Brad. Someone's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Did Brad even hear it? Doesn't look like much is going on there. Come here. What? This was the big plan? No, please. Why would you do that? Where are the others? Oh no, they're all in here. My plan is... Oh no, my plan is Brad now. Don't make me stealth around, please. Arrête de crier, j'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas. Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. Hmm. So what are you gonna do, Alex? Yeah, throw it. Divert? Oh. Divert or distract. That seems to be like... a similar... Okay. I'm not sure what the difference between those was. I mean, it worked. Fliss got captured, but honestly, she's better off without these <laughs> people Come slowing on. her down. Follow them. Okay, let's do it. We got separated. Oh well. What are we doing? I thought we were following them. Gotta keep our distance. This way we can get ahead of them. I got this. Alex, oh, way too confident. Maybe I should have told her to just go get the distributor cap, but probably should have been more patient. I just wanted to see what would happen. I like making decisions for the characters and then berating them when they actually <laughs> follow through with what I suggested. <laughs> Very fun to be a hypocrite. Oh, good God. Why do I need to see this now? Internal memo. Area 7C has been converted to a temporary chapel of rest for the duration of the voyage. All crew are required to be silent and respectful when passing near Section 7C. Signed Corporal Moore. Nice. So there's a chapel, huh? Bro, let's check it out. Oh, the ship settling. You okay? It's over here. Nothing. My bad. I 
All right. Uh, is there no? It's hard to see if we can go off to the side or not. So, when I went out to San Francisco to check out the game, we actually recorded the game on a World War II aircraft carrier, and I just want to say the ceilings were not this high below deck. These are very high ceilings. Like I'm I'm not a tall guy, and I was like practically scraping my head against the ceiling. We're going in here. Okay, wait, that's where she's going. So I'm gonna take a little detour over here. The detour that contains nothing. All right, successful. Wait a minute, we've been here before. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, I swear we've been here before, Alex. What? Have you been leading us in circles? Yes, I have. You found out my evil plan. <laughs> uh, am I gonna take this knife? I mean, it could be useful. Hey, easy with that. We shouldn't be screwing around right now. Not a good idea. We might need it. You know what? Uh, we'll leave the knife. Maybe it's not such a good idea to start getting into knife fights. I don't want it. Because, if you remember in the prologue, they were killing each other. Like, we saw that guy with a bullet hole in his back, right? Can only have been from one of them. Hey! According to this, today's beef casserole. Hmm, yummy. It's as if everything just ground to a halt on this one day. The whole ship just stopped functioning. So on Sunday, which makes sense because that the diary said, you know, it said come home, but it didn't say home. Sunday, they didn't cross off the beef casserole. So we know what day it happened on, but I don't see how that really helps us. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it's nothing. I'm sure it's nothing. Let's check out here. Rat. Jesus. How'd I know? God. Alex, what is it? Uh, truthful. Come look. Ugh. See for yourself. Ugh. Relationship update. Did it go down? It went up because I was truthful. I did not try to protect her fragile feelings. Soup du jour, mademoiselle. As if you know your way around a kitchen. Please, relax. Just messing around. Alex, sometimes I think you don't quite grasp what's happening. All right, I think we're done in here. All right, what is this place? Maybe I missed a I'm thinking picture. we gotta go through here. Wait, I see- I spy a picture! I'll go grab it. Let's see another premonition. Uh, so that's Brad getting stabbed. We didn't pick up the knife, though. We didn't pick up the knife. So the likelihood that he's gonna get stabbed by us, I think, just decreased because we didn't take that knife. I think it's best if we don't have any weapons with us. What was that? I didn't hear anything. But I don't know. Because obviously we, uh, obviously we've got to defend ourselves against the pirates. Well, Olsen and Danny mostly. Junior seems like he can be convinced. Notebook. June 18th, Wednesday. We haven't been at sea long, and I'm sick of the damn food already. That muck we ate tonight was a joke. The cooks do their best with what we got, I'm sure, but man, I'd kill for something fresh. First thing I'm doing when we get home is having me a tall glass of cold milk. Mm. <laughs> Odd choice for something fresh. June 19th, Thursday. Every one of the US papers was talking about that massacre in Philly. It's crazy to think how we're out here traveling the world trying to keep our country safe and there's people killing each other in the streets back home. I sure could use a beer after reading about home, but the captain has issued a ban on booze. Guess I'll be counting sheep tonight. This dude's thirsty. <laughs> He's talking about beverages. 
June 20th, Friday. Some of the guys had a little wrestling competition in one of the cargo holds today. I did okay, but Wagner eventually knocked me out of it. I joked he should be disqualified on account of his size, but no dice. It'd take a whole crowd of people to pin him down. He's certainly needing the same as the rest of us, that's for sure. June 21st, Saturday. I'm sure the cargo we have in the hold has something to do with the squad that went missing. Their leader, Jones, heard a legend about a room full of ancient solid gold statues from a Manchurian child emperor. They were said to be cursed, but that sounds like a load of baloney. <laughs> I don't know if they found them, but they never did return for their mission. Maybe they're returning now. And that was Saturday, so probably the Sunday we know is when it occurred. So that's the end of that. Great job. Anything else? I feel like we're on the verge of something happening. What? What? There's something in here with us. Did, didn't you? I mean, did you hear anything? I know I saw something. It was moving in the shadows. We'll, we'll be worried. We won't be annoyed. Rats. Probably just rats. That's all it was. Don't fucking laugh at me! I'm not laughing! I'm not laughing! Don't tell me it went down! Oh, it went up a little bit. <laughs> Cause I picked the better option! The other one was to be like, shut up! <laughs> and I didn't pick that one. Alright. I think we're done in here. All right, we've been here before. I'm sure of it. We're going around in circles. What do you want to do? Turn around? We've seen all this before. We have? Are you getting like a false memory implanted in your head or? Because I'm pretty sure I would know. Okay, no. This isn't working for me. What? Gross caskets We're in and cargo hold. chapels. Oh, yay. Not my scene, you know? No such things as, as ghosts. Supportive. It is crappy. You're right. It's gross and it's crappy. You gotta get out of your toot sweet. Okay, so what? can we just get the fuck out then? Cause tight. Relationship updated. Okay. Oh! Look, you can see a breakdown of the relationship. I've been doing real well with Julia, except when I played as Julia and I asked Alex if something was wrong. Alex doesn't like to talk about his feelings. <laughs> What is this? So other than that, I've been doing real good. Do we really want to look at these? I mean, yes. I don't know if I want to open these though. I don't, I don't think we should open the caskets. Should we? That seems like a good way to die. This one's like chained up though. Got some serious locks in these caskets. Why would they be chained and locked? Well, not all of them. This one isn't. The chains were taken off of this one. Hey, we got a name on this guy. Who cares where they're from or where they're going? They're dead and we're not, so let's keep it that way. Well, we're putting together a story, okay? Listen, okay? We got these secrets here, right? And some of them are related to each other. See this web? Now, unfortunately, I didn't find this secret that connects to Brian Carter's name. But, you know, we're making it. What about this one? Look at this one. Like for a kid or something. I don't want to know. Let's get out of here. Oh, I didn't know it was a smaller one. A kid and three adults. I'm not opening that casket, I don't think. I mean, should I? Should I, though? What's the matter? Shh. Wait. Yeah, why not? It's a rat. What is it? Look! Seriously? Are you trying to freak me out? Wait, there's nothing there. She doesn't see it. Can we just get out of here? The hallucinations have begun. My bad. Just kind of hanging out on this side. Yeah, there's nothing there. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm going. I'm coming, Julia. All right, don't worry about it. Sick bay's this way. And that's where Joe was in the prologue. Can we please hurry? I'm done sightseeing. 
Okay, Roger no, I, I hear you. <laughs> Damn straight, as you said earlier, Alex. My favorite moment of the game so far. Oh. oh what the hell is making that sound? This is where Joe and Charlie were. What's on? Oh my god, he's hearing oh. things that she's not. Why so spick and span? Did you hear that, guys? It's spick and span, not spick and spam. As I hear some people erroneously. Hey, this is no time to be fucking around. I'm serious. I can't take it. We're gonna take a look, though. I don't know if I. What? Do I want to. Oh, what the fuck? Don't touch it. Why did you touch it? I didn't want to touch it. Did I touch it? Oh, no. I thought something was going to happen before I could touch it. That's what I thought. Let's go in here. Ooh. Surgery? Wow, they stopped in the middle of surgery, I think. Dude. What about this? Something over here. What the hell? Looks like he died of fright. You can't see that. <laughs> He's so, like, confident. You can't unsee that. What's this? Well, is there something on the other side of the clipboard? Okay, so this guy had appendicitis, which is pretty routine, and then... Bread beds. He died of a massive heart attack, which is not routine at all. I think... I think I'll... Nope. Nope. I think a lot of people did die of heart attacks. Shut up, Julia. Hashtag nope. That's the video title. Hashtag nope. And I'm going to spell out hashtag. <laughs> hey, listen, there's a baby boomer in all of us. All right. Do you want to? I do want to kind of go back a little bit. Check things out because I did. I did kind of skip around. All right, did I check anything out over here? Ooh. What's this over here? Any medicine we find in here is gonna be old. Way out of date. Okay, well... But like, what medicine are we finding, though? What? Aspirin. I got a lot of problems, but a headache ain't one. Is that supposed oh, that to be... that better not be a veiled reference to me, mister. Is that supposed to be a Jay-Z reference? Oh, come on, man. That's like, that's a stretch of a reference. All right, let's go this way. Whoa. Bearing updated. For what? This does not look remotely safe. I do want to look. I do want to look. What, what bearing? Alex didn't find anything of use in the kitchen. Why would that bearing just update? That's weird. Manchurian gold. It's gonna get us with the sledgehammer. How do these rats live on this abandoned ship? Is there really enough for them to eat on? For this long? I mean- Where are you taking me? Now why would I tell you? This ship's like 80 years old, right? <sighs> I guess they're just cool with eating rotten things. Tell me where we are going, damn it! Forever. Okay. You're not really keeping a close eye on me, are you? Wait, what's this? Hey! <gasps> Back off! Leave that alone. I thought... Uh, I bet if you get far enough ahead of him... You can do that. But I, I took my sweet you're time. Doing. You just do whatever he tells you, don't you? He's not gonna dignify that with a response. Let's see, can we get ahead of him? Maybe we can find something else. Stop. Okay.
What's over here? Where are we going? Where are you leading us? Don't act like you know your way around. He's lost too. He has no idea. All right, come out. Show yourself. It's, it's not. Damn it. That was weird. These fucking places cursed. No, I agree. We're uh we're on the same same wavelength there. What is this? Look at this. NG Medan. Bearing updated. What? What could possibly have been updated from me seeing that? So what was that noise? They're actually What are you talking about? I don't want to hear anything from you. Olsen! Okay. Watch out. Boiling steam. I'm surprised I didn't have to do a QTE there. Please, you don't have to do this. Wait, what's in those drawers, though? Come on. Oh. Can't go back. He's a pushy bastard, isn't he? Jesus! Oh Christ. Oh Christ. That guy. That guy's probably still right here with us. I mean, you die on a ship, you go stays on the ship. Come on. You have no idea what you're talking about. No, I think he's the only one that does. <laughs> friends go taunting the corpse huh i don't know what the fuck this is all about but we gotta keep moving and find olsen now stop acting like we're friends we're in the same boat <laughs> we are in the same boat though olsen Merde. Qu'est-ce que tu fais? keep going this is a long ass haul what was that what the hell was that Ooh. What? What? Keep moving. He's interfering with my premonition. I thought I could get it. We gotta lose this guy. He's interfering with our collectibles. What? What was he? What the hell? Shooting at? Should I stay here for a second? What was he shooting at? Flashlight fell. You know what this means? We can get the berry, or uh, the premonition. I'm gonna get it. There we go. Let me see it. What? That is not helpful. Oh. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. We need to move. How'd you get here? Okay, first of all, how did you get past him? Yeah, because he went this way. Wait, how did you get here at all? I was trying to catch up to you, you know, save you or whatever. Oh, but then I heard some crazy shit and had to hide in the corner. I just want to get out of this hellhole and up to fresh air. Relationship updated. 
I'm interested to see actually what my relationship with Brad is like. Fliss was skeptical towards Brad's knowledge of the wreck. Mm. Okay, well, we haven't had a whole lot of interactions then. Yeah, let's keep going. Should we just open this, or...? I don't think we can. Oh. <laughs> Fastest buttons in the West! <laughs> Sorry, I had to check the time. That's why I was looking down. If you ever see me looking down, I'm checking the time. This camera has a recording time limit, so I have to make sure I'm under it. Oh! Is it still there? Huh. That was fun. Fun little scare. Good thing I didn't die from it. Let's go, Brad. <gasps> this is where they died. And that can't be a good sign. What was that? Should we drop down? Beats the hell out of me. Well, I guess we have to, don't we? Uh, uh. <laughs> that was like two feet. <laughs> Okay, Brad, don't get too far off. Hey! Shut up! What are you doing? Is there anything over here? I don't think there's... Nah, there's nothing over here. That was Conrad! That was a cool little scare. Where is Conrad, by the way? That was neat. Okay. You know what? Fine. What about over here? Well, I guess we should go over here first. Oh, Jesus. What happened down here? I don't know. Should we take a look? Dog tag. Just want to look. Charles T. Perez. We, we, we read about Perez in one of the diaries. Okay. It's hard to tell where the main path is and where, like, the side path is. I'm gonna go this way, though. Which maybe I shouldn't, but... There's another body. Ooh, should we take the knife? I don't- I think I- I think I really believe in my let's not have weapons philosophy. Because I think it could work against us here. So I'm gonna leave that knife. Unless it's just a clue. Because it looked like a ritual knife, didn't it? Is there any way- uh, if I pick it up, she's gonna take it with her. I just want to see it. Like, it's got- it's got markings on it. She's gonna take it. I just wanted to look at it. Maybe she could be like, I recognize these markings, but I took the knife. Now I'm gonna kill someone with it. Brad's dead. Alright, well... Hey, Brad. Let's move. We got separated. Playing as Brad now. Oh no, we're no longer playing as Brad. You're gonna get stabbed. See the flashing lights? This ain't good. What's that? Bullet. Yeah, see? They were shooting each other, for sure. Mm, 
I don't like our chances here. Great. All these hallways look exactly alike. Is this a loop that I'm in? Hey. Fliss, hey. Where were you? What? Wait, she's wearing different clothes. She wasn't wearing a blue shirt. Gotta get out. Gotta get out. Gonna look at the bullet again? No, no, no. She, see, she's wearing different clothes. Gonna leave her behind. This is a, like a weird loop that we're in. I didn't look at the bullet the last time, so I wonder if... She's still here. Okay. I guess I'll look at it this time. Maybe we'll initiate a conversation. But I don't like this because she has the knife. Because I made her have the knife. Wait, what? Alex! Huh. That's... weird. The bullet says Alex this time. We're seeing things. Fliss? Hey, fake Fliss. Ghost Fliss. You got anything to say? How many times did we go through this loop? Are you absolutely sure? Shut up! And keep moving. Yeah. What? Just keep on moving. I am. Oh, hell. Who is it? Conrad? No, who is it? Who is it? What does the bullet say? Oh, it's a leech? This is all fake, dude. This is all- this, this isn't real. How'd you get covered so quickly? Now we're good. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. What is going on? Bro, I don't know. Hey, are you sure? She's not there this time. How? What? Was that a ghost? Ghost Conrad? Just a pool of blood this time. With a bullet, what does the bullet do this time? First it was Alex, then it was a leech. That's not, is that Alex's real body? <laughs> hallucination. Alex? It has to be. This is like a hallucination hallway. Hallucination. QT time. Oh no, I got it. I got it wrong. No! No! Brad. You're losing it, buddy. So now what? Wait, so you're fine? I don't get it. Okay. Did we go up the ladder?
Okay. Thought we were transferring to a different character for a second. Life jackets that are all corroded and useless. Who's that? Who's there? Get away! I don't know. Do I keep going this way? There's a door right there, but I'm looking for anything else in here that I could maybe use. Skeletons. Skeletons. Skeletons? I mean, corpses. Where's the skin, guys? Where'd all the skin go? They have skin, don't they? I mean, some. You're not supposed to be out here. I'm not supposed to see this. Okay. Fair enough. Ooh. Should we take this? No. We shouldn't have weapons. At least that's what I believe. I'm gonna try it and see if it works. This is just my first run, after all. See, like, right here. Remember what I was talking about earlier about the control? It's good most of the time, but, like... Okay, I think it's right here. Some sort of altercation. Internal memorandum. What's this? Another secret? To First Officer Fisher, sorry you asked to be kept informed of the radio situation. We attempted outgoing messages at the following times with no response. 110, 120, 130, 140, 150. Uh, we were able to pick up indirect messaging traffic until 140. However, there has been no further incoming messages track at all since that time. It is possible that our radio equipment is faulty. I am investigation. <laughs> you mean you're investigating? And I expect to be able to report to you by 300. Or 3 o'clock, whatever. Private Cooper. Well, looks like someone was reading that when they just fell apart. Drop down! You expect. Ah, no. No, I'm not hearing this. I'm not hearing this. You expect me to drop down? Bro, I don't think so. Let's, let's go out the uh, door here, unless we have to pick up that wrench to get it. Well, we might have to. Oh no. Our fate may already be sealed. Let's look. Okay. You know what? Let's pick it up. Because we can still decide whether or not to use it. How about this? No. Okay, so actually carrying this around with me... I was hoping maybe I could get into that door. I just realized we're walking around barefoot? That didn't seem like the safest thing to do. Alright, fine, we'll drop down. You know what? Let's drop down. Alex? Julia? <sighs> oh, fuck no! It's not real. <laughs> what? Oh no, there's gas everywhere here. Oh, I dropped it. What's happened? What's going on? What'd you see? What'd you see, Brad? Are you gonna ram it? Okay. I thought you were backing up to bull rush it. Wait, this is the same hallway. Huh. What's got a headache from that? So what are you going to see here? Is she seeing what Brad already did? What is going on here? What do you see? So this is a completely different corpse. Bullet's not in it. And it's just... It's all pinched up. I'm guessing that's all that's over here. We don't get a looping hallway, though. So it looks like we've got our wits about us a little more than... Well, maybe not. 
Wait, what? No, I pressed it. Oh, that's not true. Did we just kill someone? I think Brad's okay. I think Brad's okay. That's not him, I don't think. I'm taking a gamble. I'm taking a gamble. I think that was a trap for me. Cause I mean, come on. He wasn't there before, right? What in God's name is this? This is a ballroom. But the candles are lit. That means someone was here. And recently. <laughs> uh, you guys may have figured out I like saying stuff like that. This place is not what is going on here. Is this a blood fountain? Hang on. It's a blood fountain. Oh, sorry, it's wine. Okay, well, uh, what's this? I don't know, maybe there's more going on here than I thought. Maybe it's not just hallucinations I'm seeing. Hard to tell. stage. Come on, Fliss, keep your head on straight. I wonder how much I should be looking around here, though. You know? Is there a book on the table? Yeah, there is. Let's read it. More information? Always good, although this has some weird sigil on it. Uh, maybe it's not good. Cabal should silently assemble in no more or fewer than five true individuals of sound mind and spirit. It should number three female and two male firstborn faces obscured with hood. No, it is important to the sorcerer and the spiritual well-being flock that before the festival of... Wow. I don't know how to say that. Ritual of Threskia is performed to win away demons by means of Cabal. The pent angle shall be drawn out, and each member shall stand at each of the five primary points. There are five of us, however. Three male, two female, right? Hmm. A lady born of the sea shall be rendered unconscious and placed to the center of the pent angle. It is from there that the assembled should recite the incantation of Sora, sword in hand, with all exultation possible as is written. We five stand at the furthermost point. We are yet close enough to touch. The five starred great power turning 90 degrees to your... What? It's like... What is the purpose of all this? Wait, is does the knife that I have have anything to do with this? The sword forward with exultation exclaim, the pentangle is sacrificed, page 34. Each member takes a step inwards. What? This is a bunch of... We spill the life of man in your honor that we may ourselves worthy of your trust. Let's see, skull, dagger, blood, tree. The body should be transferred to a casket of thick wood with head accessible by your flock at any time as a reminder of the evil that can infect the unwary and the power of Saurus to keep all safe. What? None of that's really ringing a bell for me. That seems to have come kind of out of nowhere, as far as the rest of the story goes. Do we open this? Oh, God. Is there a note? There's a note in there, I think. Oh. Is there not? I guess if there was, she would have pointed it out. 
Man, I'm not walking under this chandelier. I know that for sure. Okay, there are some skulls and there's a circle right there with five points. I'm wondering... I don't know. So is there some sort of ritual that took place here? Like, is this reality? And is this, like, what caused everything, you know? Somebody's drowning someone else, and Julia's saying, No! Well, I feel like it's maybe Alex and Brad. I don't know. Do we... What are we doing? This is too weird. No, I totally agree. Should we open this coffin? I see no other way to progress. Yeah, there's no... Okay, whatever, man. Do we open it? Or do we leave? Mmm. Feel like opening it's a bad decision. So I'm just gonna leave. I think that's the... That's what the ritual is about, right? Yeah, let's just leave. Don't open the coffin. Well, you made it out. Just dive off, swim around to the boat. <laughs> Is it totally different? <gasps> it's totally different. Wait, are these the- these are the ones with the skulls and crossbones on them. This has like toxic material in it. Yeah, we're not opening this up. What happened? Wait. That was a weird- Wait, the curator was in the background. Did you see him? The curator. There's Brad. See, he's fine. Brad. Ah! No. Hey, Brad. No, no, no. What are you... Hey, what's wrong? What are you doing? <laughs> It's okay, you can fight him off. It's Brad we're talking about. What the fuck? No, no, no. <laughs> what is going on there? <laughs> Now we're playing as Julia. Slow chamber. Oh wait, this is why I saw premonition of. She's back in the plane. You should know that this is not... Oh wait, what? It's the same dude. Oh, it's Alex's dead body and he's got barnacles on him! What's that? It's the same one that we saw earlier. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do with that. Uh, Alex seems calm. What? Uh, 
Wait, which one's the real one? I think we gotta save him. Stop, he'll drown! Stop! Stop! <laughs> What happened? What happened just then? Wait, was Alex really drowning himself? It's hard to figure out what happened. I got an achievement just now called Lovebirds though, so I'm guessing it worked out. What? What? You you okay? Are you okay? You were drowning yourself. I thought it was the sledgehammer guy. Thanks. I could have drowned. We gotta get away. He's still around. That that guy. Fuck. Huh? <gasps> Wait. Who's this dude? Let's go. What just happened in that scene? <laughs> I'm so confused. Wow. Brad's running away from Fliss, who he believes to be a ghost of some kind, I bet. Oh no. Is that Olsen that's chasing us? He looks different to me. Fuck. We don't have He's the here. knife. We don't have the knife. What's the matter, tree both? Oh, it is Alex. It's evil Alex. But only we can see him. Good thing we didn't trip on the stairs. I'm sorry, I'm concentrating. I'm anticipating QTEs. Which way do we go? What does this mean? The screw over? Jump. Shit. I got it, right? I got an achievement as long as you're quick. Yeah, can you even jump? Keep going. Because I don't know who that is. If, if anyone. I mean, I don't know. I keep waiting for us to like accidentally kill each other. Oh my God. I don't know why I'm so paranoid Maybe about that. Gone? Well, it worked out. We got away. Oh, oh, Fliss! Oh, thank God. Fliss is outside too. Yeah, it's me. Come on, let's go. Jesus! We gotta get somewhere safe. Wait, what? So we're all reunited and we're all okay. Is that what I'm getting out of this? Did I pull it off? Are we, are we all still alive? I mean, you can't help but not trust your eyes though, so. Hard to really say. Are we good here? I think, yeah, I think we'll be all right here. Will we? What do you have to say about this curator? Who I definitely saw in the background? Oh, hello. Things appear to have taken a turn towards the spiritual, wouldn't you say? Don't smile at me like that. We're not friends.
What are you writing in your little... Have you figured out what's going on? How to stop it? How to save the lives of your poor, unfortunate stowaways? I mean, I'm doing you a will, good job so far. I hope. Although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to. Quite a lot of deaths that night. Let me help you out. Give you a little hint. No, I don't want hints. I don't. I'm confident. No hint. No. Perhaps you think you can piece things together from the clues you found yourself. Good luck with that. Don't believe Perhaps me, huh? Perhaps you've started to realize something. That everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. Uh, I hope that helps. Neat little card trick. Well, aren't you excited to find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy? Go on, back to it. Speak soon. Oh. Wouldn't miss it. <laughs> Can't wait to chat again. <laughs> Alright, guys. That's gonna be it for this video. Uh... Whew. It's, uh... The pacing's a little slower than Until Dawn, but um, I'm enjoying it so far, and I will be posting another video soon. Uh, I can't tell you whether it's going to be tomorrow or Sunday, but it will be sometime this weekend. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough. If you do, leave a like on the video. You don't have to, obviously. I just never ask for them. <laughs> I should have asked for them on part one. Oh well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critical.